everyone, it's Tracy. Welcome back. Today is day eight of the 12 days of Christmas. And I am going to use some more um, of those uh, studio photos that we had done years ago. This is uh, the last one I did was in 1997 and this is 1995. Um, I actually have a picture of all of us. Um, I'm now divorced, but that's a picture of my family back in 1995. It's so cute looking at the girls back then. Um, always like their outfits to be matching, especially for Christmas. Now the papers I'm using is My Mind's Eye, Comfort and Joy. Uh, these are, this is the uh, 12 by 12 that I have. And I love these papers. Um, it goes together so well. I love the, oh, the, I don't know. It's like a, I love that, that deep red color. It's not very, it's got that blue tone to it. And I find that to be very warm. Um, anyway, I, I tend to gravitate towards that. So I showed you at the beginning of the video that I'm using a sketch from Page Maps. It is August of 2017. And, um, and you saw that I made those wonky scallops. Yeah, that's something I do. Um, and I, I'm guessing at the sizes, you know, because Page Maps, they don't give the exact measurements and you just kind of have to guess. So I'm going with what I have. By doing it the way that I did, um, I should have made it a bit wider because I had to overlap my photos for them to fit the way that that looked right. So on this sketch, there is an, an embellishment portion up at the uh, upper right, the where I'm kind of playing with right now. And I have all that and all of that is going to go. I find something else that will work uh, much easier uh, than all those little pieces. It's these mittens. Now the mittens, I could have left them there, but I felt like they needed to have something behind them. So I had a scrap of this wood grain and I just trimmed off, oh, like a, I think it's like a half an inch. I, I trim it even a little bit more than that. Um, and I'm gonna put it there behind the mittens. That way you can actually see you know, where they are supposed to be hung from. So, um, and then the little sentiment, uh, the journaling square that I have, it says, oh, what fun. And, you know, on the sketch, that's where I was supposed to put my title. And I didn't really have a title, you, you know, thought up, you know, you know how it is with Christmas pictures, you know, they, they all look the same, you know, they, I mean, they don't look the same, but they all mean the same thing. So how am I going to differentiate? So I have, and at this moment, I still haven't done this. I need to put the year on it. So I did put the year on the other one, um, the one that I did yesterday. And, and I want to make sure that I put the year on this one going to glue everything down on this white cardstock. Now I do end up getting some paper to put behind it, but you know, now that I've got those mittens up there, I'm going to leave them there as I trim away some of the white cardstock to make it fit, but I won't do that to the very end. All right, I am going to put this button down. It's going to be, it's supposed to look like it's there to hang the, the mittens. And um, I showed you on the last video how I had threaded a needle with this. Um, oh gosh, I always forget what it's called. I, cause I don't buy it very much. The, it's not thread. I know you guys are probably like, oh gosh, girl, you don't, you shouldn't be doing this <laughs> if you don't even know what you're working with. And I'm like, yeah, you're probably right. But anyway, it's the, the twine. So it's, I thread it, it through the button and I just tied it off. You'll be able to see it in the close-ups. 
and I use the Distress Collage Medium to glue that button down. Yeah, that button's not going to go anywhere. Now put this little circle element. It's, you know, it's just a wood grain, wood grain piece. It's a circle. And inside the circle is like a snowflake. But I put um, some holly leaves and berries. And I just wanted to have a little something right there next to the the mittens. And I know that I want to work on the sequins. I think that's the next thing that I'm going to do. Now, what, oh no, I'm going to look at some pattern paper to put uh, behind the, you know, this, uh, this page. And I end up using something dark. So I'm going to use this red. I just don't see myself using that as, <clears throat> and I have another sheet of that in, in this 12 by 12 pad, you know, most of them come with two of each design. So I have another one if I decide I want to use it later for something else. So just go ahead and glue this down with my ETG gun. I did add some splatters. I don't show myself doing that, but I wanted to tell you, I don't think I've ever used this color before and I've had it for a while. It is a coloring, it's called Keep Palm and it's a really nice dark green. It's almost an olive color. So it really went well with this color uh, of the papers, of the tone. So I love the way that it looks. You'll be able to see that in the close-ups as well. Working on the sequins here. Now, as always, I put all my sequins on with the Tim Holtz Distress Collage Medium. And as you can tell, I always use my tweezers. It keeps my fingers from getting dirty. And my fingers are just too big to, you know, put all those sequins down. Well, here's the close-up, guys. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.